Hey, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at the newly released DC Rebirth Green Lantern from McFarlane Toys. I found it at Target for $19.99. Let's take a quick look at the back of the box. The caption says that the image is from Justice League number 6. For those who want to see the barcode, here it is. Alright, let's get this figure out of the box and take a look at him. If you are new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. As you can see, Green Lantern comes with a few really cool looking accessories. Let's take a quick look at them first. He comes with some energy based accessories, for example, this armor that fits over his head around his neck is really cool looking. You can also note tell that it's uh, translucent, but very neat. Mine was a little bit bent out of shape here in the front, so I may have to use some hot water to flatten it up so if you have some problems you might want to try hot water kind of reform it around the figure but this is a very cool uh, little over accessory piece he comes with a backpack which again is also green translucent all of his accessories are green translucent very nice uh, I'll be honest I actually don't know if it goes this way or if it goes this way I'll probably be putting it this way and you can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong and probably the coolest accessory he comes with is this light projection machine gun. It's very neat. Again, translucent green. Very cool looking. I'm excited to uh, hook this on him and have him hold it and uh, see how he looks. There's, there's an amazing amount of detail in all this that you can actually see in person. I'm not sure how well you can see it on video, but an amazing little gun here. He also comes with a couple non-energy based accessories like this trading card here that has the picture that was on the back of the box from Justice League number 6 and a little bit of information about him and a round DC figure stand that's got only one peg on it but there's a strong possibility you won't use this for the figure you're probably going to use one of those stands that allows him to look like he's flying. Green Lantern stands about 7 inches tall, has 22 points of articulation, and I think he looks very nice. I think he looks really cool, and I think, there's lots of I thinks here, because this is my video, <laughs> but I think he uh, represents the Jon Stewart character very well. Uh, I think this looks like a very, very nice version of him. I know I say uh, I'll do two very sometimes, but that just is my way of emphasizing but yeah, I think he looks really neat. Let's take a peek at his articulation and where he moves around. His head will rotate around and up and down on that ball joint. One thing I've noticed is there's a few of the DC, or a few of the McFarlane DC figures have a joint that's down here in the neck, the lower neck. I don't see and I don't feel that this is one of those. So I don't think he's got a joint, a ball joint down here in the neck. He's got the butterfly ball joints that allows his arm in his shoulder to rotate around. He can lift his arms up about that high. Yeah, man. And his biceps rotate. He's got double pin at the elbow, ball joint at the wrist for hinge and rotation. He's got an upper chest torso wiggle. He's got this little piece of plastic here that kind of make... It look, makes him look like he's got some layered clothing on here, which I think is pretty neat. His waist will move around, and this will go with it, because that's kind of what you're going to be holding on to when you rotate him. But yeah, he's got this uh, extra piece there. It's kind of neat. If you want him to do the splits, the best I can do without breaking something is getting him up about that high. So he's got a little bit of range of motion there, and he can move his legs back and forth. He's got double pin at the knees and a ball joint at the ankle for hinge and rotation and the toe hinge which works really pretty well and I hope that doesn't mean it's gonna get loose at some point sooner than maybe it should but yeah very nice looking figure he's got a pretty what I would classify as a pretty classic green lantern outfit with mostly black and then the green gauntlets and boots and upper shirt <laughs> Shopper shirt. <laughs> nice clean looking lantern logo right there. He does on his right hand have his little green ring right there, which is a really cool, uh, you know, it, it's nice that it stands out so well. It doesn't look like it's heavily detailed, but at least you can see he's got his ring on. 
Very cool figure. I'm, I'm really liking this figure. I've been kind of anxiously waiting this figure for a while now. And I'm really happy and really glad to have been able to find him and, and uh, add him to the collection. I think he's going to stand next to the other DC figures quite well. All right. Let's get some accessories on him. Let's see how he looks all posed up. The armor fits on him really well. The one problem that I see is when you start to lift his shoulders and his arms up, the armor pops away from his chest. I don't know if that's just mine or if that's going to be everybody's, but that would be a bit of a limitation, I think, with the green armor. I think the backpack works really well. You can get him posed in a really cool position. You know, this is a I think a pretty cool looking pose if that's what you want to try to do. But yeah, the armor is the only problem that I see here. It took a little doing to get him into this pose. One thing I have problems with McFarlane figures are the hands are very, very tight, very stiff. And so trying to get them around these points on the gun was a little bit difficult. Once you get them there, it doesn't look bad. It looks really pretty cool. I actually kind of bled just a little bit because my fingers slid <laughs> while trying to slide that gun on. But as I said, once it's on and once you've got him into a pose, he looks pretty good. You can see that with his arms down, my armor here still sticks out a little bit. So I'm going to have to warm that up with hot water to see if that will get the armor to lay flat. I don't know. Maybe they're not supposed to lay flat, but I would think they would. It would look really awesome if the armor laid flat. All right, now time for some height comparisons. Here he is next to a G.I. Joe classified figure and a Fortnite Jazz Wars Legendary Series figure. Standing next to a Star Wars Black Series figure and a Marvel Legends figure. Next to a Halo Spartan Collection figure and a Predator figure. Next to a Jazz Wars Fortnite Brawlers action figure and a McFarlane Fortnite action figure. Overall, I'm very pleased with this figure, and I think it will look awesome next to the other DC figures. Though, one thing that I would leave you with, if not really a complaint, but just, I guess, a, maybe a frustration, is that without this one neck uh, joint down there, he can only put his head up that high for a flying pose. So he doesn't actually ever look like maybe he's... You can't put him in that straight-on, head-straight-forward flying pose. It's going to have to be maybe some sort of a like a looking down and landing type of a pose. Let's just do that here real quick. I don't know, something like that maybe where he's thinking about landing. Uh, but yeah, his head only goes up so far and maybe that'll work for what you're wanting to do. I don't know. But anyway, like I said, I am over a whole really pretty pleased with this action figure. So thank you for stopping by and watching. Now it's your turn. What do you think about this figure? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And on your way out, check out my recent review of the Injustice 2 The Flash in the lower left corner. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.